So guys, I decided to bite the bullet. Hello again, everyone out there in the artsy YouTube land. So I recently decided to go ahead and purchase this fifth generation Paul Rubens watercolor set. And as it's been around for a little while now and I did not jump on the bandwagon of purchasing it because I did not know if it was quite extremely comparable to other Paul Rubin sets that I have per se. So the reason I did go ahead on and decide to purchase it was because it was last week was the prime week sale and it was on sale at a pretty nice price. So I went ahead and and bit the bullet and decided to purchase it. Although I, I must say I did want the palette. I wanted the palette from the first time I saw it because the looking at the black and gold, the uniqueness of the palette is extremely stunning. And I do know that some, some of Paul Rubin's palettes, like the gemstone palettes that I have, they seem to be limited edition because I can't find them anymore. And I wish I would have purchased a few more of those before they just disappeared. But before I open this box, I want to kind of look at some of the color comparisons um, in relation to what I have already. And pretty much starting with. My first set here of the 48, I want to say. No, this is 24. The 24 um, color set. I want to look at the chart, for, especially for people who are kind of wondering, like I was, are the colors the same? So, in this set, we don't have color names as we do in this set, but we do have color numbers. And looking at the chart, okay, looking at the yellows, this is 224. There is no 224 on here. There's Naples yellow in here. Chromium yellow deep. Um, chromium orange. And none of that is in this particular palette. And then the numbers go on to 349, which is also not in this palette looking at the blues there's indigo indigo is number 45 and that is not in here so i think it was very justifiable and this is what this particular palette looks like and the swatch card for it. So if you have this palette and you're wondering if you should purchase this one, then you it will be a justifiable purchase because the colors are different. Okay, and my next palette, which is one of my gemstone palettes. Kind of 
comparing the colors to this one. Again, if you have this palette, for one, the main difference with this palette is these colors will be totally different from this palette because this palette has the, sp the shimmer to it. It has like light sparkly effects to the paint, whereas this one does not. So this would also be a justifiable purchase. So it doesn't really make sense for me to sit and compare the colors too much because the main difference with this palette is, I don't know if you can see the shimmers, but the, there is shimmers in each pan of this paint. Okay, and then moving on to this one, which is another gemstone palette. I really wish this palette would have come with the cloth as well rather than the bag, but... Comparing the colors again, these colors are much more vibrant colors, I would say. And what I liked about this palette is the colors seem a little more toned down and muted. So we have here, um, Okay, so there's cadmium yellow light, but in this one, there's cadmium yellow hue. Um, we have Indian yellow. We do have Naples yellow in this palette, but I'm not sure if it's the same because this one is 226 and this one is 229. And... It doesn't look like too much more is the same. We have indigo. And again, the numbers are different because it is indigo, but this one is 485 and this one is 442. And it looks like that's about all that can be compared because we have a burnt sienna here but we have burnt umber here um we have ivory black here and we have black here so they are all different so the palettes are they all have their own characteristics so it is i mean if you wanted to get it i mean it's always a justifiable purchase because it's a new watercolor palette and it's exciting but now we're going to get into opening the new palette have the first impressions together although there are many of these Paul Rubens palette videos to watch that's why I was so excited about it but here it goes let's see how this one looks in person And it is just as nice. Look at that. 
very stunning. And one of them must have slipped out of their packaging. Let's see which. I'll have to see which one this is that slipped out. Okay, here we go. And that was the brown umber. So I like how it won't take very long to get these. Um, let me make sure this is completely in frame. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I like how it won't take very long to get these wrappers off because they're just going to slip right off. And we're going to go ahead on and get just watching this. Mm -hmm. Also forgot to show you guys another Paul Rubens set that I have here. If I can get this one out without any problems, this is the student grade set, which I have not jumped into using at all yet because I'm not sure which palette I want to put them in. But this was an another set that I have. But this would not be comparison in compared to this in any form because this one is student grade. So and also as usual, this comes with the swatch chart. So I'm going to go ahead on and just sit back and enjoy these swatches.
okay guys this is the beautiful swatch chart and I really really do love the vibrancy of these colors this indigo it's one of my favorite because I love Payne's gray and it leans more toward that color I think this is a beautiful may green so what I will do now is I'm going to pull my sketchbook out and sketch up a simple sketch to paint and if you want to stay for this part of the video you are more than welcome I will get set up to sketch and then I will be back with the painting part Okay guys, here is the sketch. I just want to do something really quick. And I think I'm going to add um, a few oyster mushrooms in here because I love oyster mushrooms. So I'll add a few of them in here as well. I just don't want to do anything that's going to take too long because this video is going to be long enough. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the sketch and I will go ahead on and get to painting it.
Okay, everyone, I have gotten the little puff balls or warts, whatever you want to call them, painted it in detailed. I painted in the last rock, the oyster mushrooms. I painted the little scales in. I'm not sure if I had did that before I stopped the video, but um I did as much detail so that you could see a nice picture before I go ahead on and finish it because I have to save time because if the video is too long, my phone won't let me edit it. So I'm going to go ahead on and finish the stem and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I will call this done. This was a very fun project using these Paul Rubens fifth generation watercolors. And this is one of my favorite type of scenes to paint when I don't really have a great idea of putting something together. This is another Scene. I had to find this one to show you guys. I did this one using, I want to say Lucas watercolors on a live video. So, but this was, I really, really enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And until next time, guys, thank you so, so much for watching.